copy, Tony. Yeah, go ahead, Jason. Hey, can you meet me in the silo for a minute? I'd like another pair of eyes on a pump down here. 10-4, I'll meet you back there in a minute. Directly underneath the animal pens at the Marine Mammal Center, Jason and I wait for Tony to arrive. We're inside a cavernous underground bunker, once a Cold War era silo that housed anti-aircraft missiles. Today, the room is full of customized algorithm reading computers, wires and screens that make up a control room that keeps the world's largest marine mammal hospital running. I'm John Carlo Rulli at the Marine Mammal Center, and this is Sentinels of the Sea, a show about what we've learned from over 40 years of rescuing seals and sea lions. This repurposed missile silo houses the main part of the filtration system here at the center. And it's really the backbone of everything. It's, it's all underground, so if I'm a visitor and I'm walking through here, I'm going to miss probably 50% of what goes on at the center. That's Tony Williams, a facilities and life support specialist at the center. Life support, you say? Yep. That's what we call the team who keeps the hospital's buildings and all 25 animal pools and pens safe for them during their recovery at the hospital. We all feel a great responsibility to look after the system and make improvements and keep up with the uh, preventive maintenance. Any little part can go down, the system can go down for a while, so we have to keep up on things. We want to keep the water clean, we want the environment to be clean, and it's a really important part of our mission. So why do we need this unique system to run the center? Well, marine mammals live in the ocean, but we can't just make ocean water and pump it up to the center. So Tony and his team are responsible for overseeing and maintaining a filtration system that makes our own ocean water for the seals and sea lions at the hospital. The system not only maximizes the amount of fresh water we use, but also uses a bubbly protein solution, sand and ozone generators to purify the water supplied by the local water district. Our director of life support systems, Jason Barcelon, explains exactly how an ozone generator works. So our ozone generator makes ozone by breaking oxygen molecules apart uh, basically using a simulated lightning bolt. The excitation of these oxygen molecules uh, via electricity breaks these oxygen molecules apart. When they come back together, uh, some of them reform as O3, and this is what's called ozone. Ozone has the superpower of being able to disinfect viruses and bacteria. A lightning bolt? That is really cool. This entire filtration system is capable of holding a staggering 75,000 gallons of water or the equivalent of four large backyard swimming pools. That's a lot of water. But even more impressive, the system, much like a swimming pool, constantly recirculates the water, disinfecting and minimizing water loss along the way. But how do you exactly recycle 75,000 gallons of water? With sand. During the busy season, in the late spring, we can be filtering tens of thousands of gallons of dirty water every 20 minutes. It's all part of providing the best possible care for our patients. Every day is really a different experience. Um, a lot of problems require us to investigate and fix hiccups that, that arise in our system. Um, working with this team to come up with solutions uh, to keep the system running on behalf of the animals we serve is what makes this job so interesting. Find out how you can support the center's work by visiting our website at marinemammalcenter.org. Thanks for listening. This podcast was recorded at Strawberry Hill Productions in Novato, California. Strawberryhillproductions.com.